What's up guys, Sal here, so we're less than a week away from the Apple Keynote for the iPhone 14. All this while we were under the impression that Apple will finally switch from a notch to an eye-shaped cutout. Turns out that isn't true. A new report suggests something different. Instead of the two cutouts, Apple will use software to essentially black out the area between the two cutouts to make it look like one seamless cutout. This report was originated from Mac rumors and then confirmed by 9to5Mac sources and then finally Mark Gurman from Bloomberg also confirmed that this is indeed the case. The pale and hole shaped cutout in the iPhone 14 Pro variants will be bridged by software. But why? Well, the area between the cutouts will not be totally useless. Apple will use the space for displaying their privacy indicators if an app is accessing the camera or microphone or both. Right now, Apple places the red and green dot at the upper right corner of the display, but now it will appear in between the cutouts. Now, if you ask me, I don't like it one bit. Notch was a horrible design choice, and the first pill and hole design was a better compromise. Still ugly, but it was marginally better. But this version simply tossed it out the window once again. The eye-shaped design looks somewhat unique compared to most of the other Android camera cutout designs. I mean, Samsung used the same pill-shaped design back in 2019 with the Galaxy S10 5G, and Apple is literally taking that and putting it in the middle of the display. And also, I see a lot of people saying that this is smart, great use of the space and all of that stuff, which is typical Apple fanboying because the present version of displaying the indicator may very well be recreated without the need to black out the space between the pill and hole punch. So I don't understand the point in the first place. It's ridiculous to artificially restrict screen real estate for little instances of camera and mic usage. So no, I don't think this is a good design choice at all. Anyway, we have some updated information about the prices of the iPhone 14 lineup. Earlier, it was rumored that there will be a $100 increase in price across all the 14 variants. Turns out that may not be true. According to Trendforce, we'll instead see a $50 increase in prices across all the iPhone 14 models. Trendforce says Apple wants to play safe with smaller increases in light of a tough economy and a declining smartphone market. And finally, there's a slight change in the naming scheme of the iPhone 14 Max. Instead of naming it the Max, which potentially could confuse users into thinking it's the highest end variant, Apple could instead call it the iPhone 14 Plus. Of course, with that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.